and welcome. I am so glad that you are here today. If you are new, my name is Lisa. Today we will be in the kitchen. I am going to show you how to make no fail, moist and delicious pot roast. I am going to call this Lisa's Dr. Pepper Pot Roast. So I have been making this pot roast recipe forever. It has evolved. I don't even know where the original recipe came from. But you use a can of Dr. Pepper and I promise you this will not fail you like ever. It is moist, delicious, and wonderful every single time. We're gonna make it in the crock pot and so easy. Like, it almost feels wrong that I'm sharing this recipe because is it really cooking <laughs> when you do little to nothing? I don't know, but we're going to do it and it's going to be great. These are the few simple ingredients you will need to make this Croptober Lisa's Dr. Pepper Pot Roast. I am using a chuck roast that I thawed from my deep freeze. You need cooking spray, garlic salt, black ground pepper, garlic. I prefer this pre-minced garlic. The secret ingredient of a can of Dr. Pepper. Then carrots and green beans. If you want to also add potatoes, those are delicious in this pot roast as well. And then I always, always use the crock pot liners. So I highly recommend them if they're available in your area. You're going to start this recipe by putting a crock pot liner into your favorite crock pot. Mine is a very basic and simple crock pot. I have had it forever. It works well and if you don't have a crock pot, I suggest you invest in one. You can get them for as little as like $15 I think at Walmart or that used to be what they were who knows now with inflation and all that but definitely worth the investment. Spray your liner with some cooking spray. Even with the liner, this just helps the roast and ingredients from sticking to the liner. The liners are very safe for food. They're made specifically for that. You're gonna take your roast and you're gonna season it. I season one side then put it in my crock pot and season the other side. This video is a collaboration for Crocktober. If you don't know what Crocktober is, it is when you bust out the crock pot and make all the wonderful fall recipes in your crock pot. This collaboration is hosted by the sweet Vicki Wright. I was so excited when she invited me to join this group of wonderful YouTube ladies here. We're gonna all be sharing our favorite Crocktober recipes with you. I will have Vicki's channel as well as the playlist linked down in the description. So be sure you go and check her out when you are done watching here. And then you can click on that playlist link and it will run you through all of the videos in today's collaboration. So thank you, Vicki. I appreciate you offering this invitation to me. It has been a lot of fun and you are a great, wonderful and gracious host. Next, I add in garlic, and I love a lot of garlic. I estimate one squeeze is about a tablespoon, so I put three tablespoons of minced garlic. You can definitely use fresh minced garlic. And then the piece de resistance, 
open a can of Dr. Pepper, use the real full sugar Dr. Pepper. I have in a crunch used that Dr. Pepper. It works, but it's not nearly as good. And you just pour that over your roast in the crock pot. It is something about the caramel and the carbonation, the sugar, it just breaks down your meat, makes it tender, delicious, and juicy. The chuck roast naturally flavors everything. That's why you don't need a lot of seasoning. It's as easy as that. You just add in your carrots and your green beans. Put the lid on your crock pot, set it to low for six to eight hours or on high for four hours. I really, really, really suggest you use the low setting feature on your crock pot. Slow and low cooks it so much better. I promise you this pot roast comes out delicious, moist, falling apart without fail every single time. And it is that simple. You are going to let your roast just simmer and cook all day long. Enjoy the wonderful aromas that fill your home. This is perfect for a busy, hectic day. Start it before work, start it in the morning, and supper is all ready. Cleanup is easy. You can see here the roast is just falling apart. The carrots and green beans are steamed and cooked perfectly. The flavor is there. It is a hit with my family and I promise you, you are gonna love it. So let me know in the comments below if you ever try this recipe, come back and message me. I would love to hear what you think. I'm gonna plate this up and we're gonna sit down and enjoy dinner as a family together. Yeast rolls would go really well with this pot rose to vegetable and carrot dinner. We don't do a lot of bread at our house though, so we're just gonna enjoy the meat and veggies. to Vicki for hosting today's collaboration and for all the other wonderful YouTubers that are in the playlist today. Don't forget to go check out Vicki's channel and the playlist, both linked in the description box below. And a huge thank you to each and every one of you, my returning viewers that come back time and time again, any of you ladies or gentlemen that are new visiting from one of the other channels here in the playlist or if you just happen to find my video you fell in love with my thumbnail and you clicked on it to see what this croctober was all about i appreciate and adore each and every one of you if you haven't already done so don't forget to hit that thumbs up and i love to talk to you in the comments so drop me one below also, subscribe if you haven't already done so. I invite you to do that and would love for you to be a part of the Uniquely Lisa family. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.